Hi, I'm Dan Bausch. I'm a professor at Tulane University and also a consultant with the World Health Organization. I've had the privilege over the last few decades of working in many great international sites, including in the Peruvian Amazon, many places in West Africa, conducting health research and also attending to outbreaks. I'm standing here today overlooking beautiful Lac Leman, just a few miles away from World Health Organization headquarters. But last week I was in Liberia, one of the countries so terribly afflicted over the last year and a half by the Ebola outbreak. Liberia, although it's a great country with many wonderful people, of course is a much different place. Here in Switzerland, people generally look pretty happy and healthy, but things are much rougher there. One of the most obvious reasons, of course, is the poverty. The United Nations Human Development Index, an uh, indicator of poverty, is number 175 in Liberia, whereas here in Switzerland we're at number three, and the United States we're at number five. Poverty, of course, has incredible impacts on human health. In such poverty, how could Liberia and other countries in the region have surveillance systems to detect something like Ebola virus when it's introduced, control systems, in order to stop transmission once it starts, or health systems in order to take care of people who are sick. There are also many indirect impacts of such poverty. People trying just to feed their families often have little choice but to destroy forests and other ecosystems. Science and technology can be important aspects of the solution, but we can't be naive. Science and technology are not going to be able to have their full effects in areas with such extreme poverty. We have to be, we can be, we must be the first generation to end extreme poverty. It's not an easy road, it's the only road. Let's get started.